another way to pay. In this Transportation TV special report, we examine the road user charge, a mileage-based system for all road users. Part 1, Under Investment. It was 24 years ago that President Bill Clinton signed into law the last piece of legislation raising the federal gas tax to its current level, just over 18 cents for every gallon of gasoline purchased. The gas tax is not adjusted for inflation. So as the price of construction materials and labor have escalated over the past two decades, the gas tax has remained the same, failing to generate the level of investment needed. Jim Tymon, Ashto's chief operating officer, testified before Congress recently about how far behind America has fallen. According to the most recent conditions and performance report published by the U.S. Department of Transportation, a funding increase of at least 35 percent is necessary to begin to improve the state of our nation's highways and transit systems. That same U.S. DOT report time and is referencing estimates that America has an $836 billion backlog of unmet capital investment needs for highways and bridges alone. We know that the gas tax, which is the primary uh, funder of our uh, highway systems uh, is a diminishing resource. In Minnesota, we will definitely see reduced revenue coming from our state gas tax. But we actually think that it's going to be around for a while. So we're not actually advocating or thinking it should be replaced. But we need to be thinking about where the new revenue mechanisms are going to come from. In part two, we examine the road user charge. Another way to pay for America's aging roads, bridges, and transit systems.